you guys, happy vlog, happy Friday. It's about 5 p.m. It's been a minute. If you're seeing this vlog when it goes live, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope that your holiday season has been full and warm, full of health, because everyone is sick, I hear. Just everything you imagined it to be or better, and that Santa didn't forget to fill your stocking mom. So before we get into the weekend vlog, I did want to say thank you to Wild Grain for sponsoring this entire vlog. Can't wait to get into that because we get tea bread. Yeah, that's right. Which is a, one of the best reasons or most important reasons why Wild Grain is a perfect fit for this family. We are actually getting ready to head out to have dinner with Parker's baby girls. I want to show you guys an outfit of the day. And there are a few little updates that we have to do. Some uh, we've been dreading to talk about for a while, but I don't think all of you guys follow us on Instagram. So we'll get into that at some point. Another thing you get to look forward to in this vlog is maybe perhaps a little Sephora haul that I did accidentally a couple days ago. Yeah. All right, let's go do an outfit. Oh man, it's dark in here. Hopefully you guys can get a good look. It's uh, five o'clock and you know how short the days are in winter. It's not my favorite. So we have this really cute headband from Walmart. Look at that. I actually was wearing a beanie that matched, uh, I think it's around, no, I don't have it here. Darn it. I had a beanie that I was wearing that matches this look, but I don't want to wear a hat because sometimes I get hot, sometimes I get cold and I just can't really plan. So I did the little headband. The beanie that I was wearing matches this scarf perfectly with this sweater. This is one of my favorite purchases this uh, season because it's actually a sweatshirt, but it has like mixed materials. So it has like this little cable knit part of the sweater. The cuffs are also like sweater material, but the actual sweatshirt, see, look, it's almost like they took a sweater and a sweatshirt and like put them together. Sweater, sweater, and then sweater, but the actual body is sweatshirt and then just some jeans and these boots. You guys ask me about these boots every year. I got mine two or three years ago and luckily Walmart brings them back every year in a few different colors. So I'll link those as well for you guys. So before we get into all the weekend shenanigans, um, if you guys don't follow on Instagram, it's I think the first and only place that I've updated you guys. I told you in March of this year, so about nine months ago, that our healer, Myrn or Ernie, was diagnosed with carcinoma. And they actually gave her a very bleak prognosis. We tried to do surgeries and treatments and everything. And they said, you know, no matter what you do, it's looking like with carcinoma. And I mean, by the time we found it, it was in her gallbladder and liver. And in a matter of like two months, it spread all the way up to her, like the top of her diaphragm. So it moved pretty fast. And we were told that she would make it, if we were lucky, to the summer. So her surgery, they, they found the cancer in March. Her surgery was in March. And the surgeon said, just take her home, make her comfortable. So we did. And she rallied for double or twice as long that the vet and surgeon said she would last. But... It's so awful how fast a cancer like carcinoma just wins. You know, she could be fine, 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 fine. And then all of a sudden, in a matter of days, it was time. And it's just been hard. You know, we didn't have her for Christmas. And uh, I guess, as cliche as it sounds, as ready as you think you are, you're just not ready for the space. I was... I was ready for her loss. I spoke to my therapist about that. I was like, I've never experienced grief backwards. And that's exactly what it ha like how it happened for me. I experienced it completely backwards. I was devastated when I first found out and trying to find answers and trying to find a cure or a way to just make it not true. And I was devastated, but I had plenty of time to like spend hardcore quality time with her and just remind her how special she was and how important she is and was and and all of those things so by the time she was ready i was too and in traditional or uh, custom mern fashion she went out on her terms and it was beautiful so now she's resting she's resting with her brothers where there is no cancer no pain no discomfort no abuse 
and just hopefully thinking about her mama <laughs> selfishly and missing me. So that's one update. What's another update? Our Christmas was low key. If you guys are divorcees or blended families, you know that the holidays always look so different because you have to share time with other families. And so for us, Christmas is never on the 24th. It's never on the 25th, but it was Christmas and we were able to do something special with the boys and the girls. Today we are going to sort of a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year dinner with the girls and just to have fun and relax and have a, a night out. It's just been, I don't know if it's the last, like the end of the year that everything just happens so fast and it makes you all bittersweet and melan me melan melancho melancholy, melancholic. You know what I'm trying to say, nostalgic too. <laughs> Let me throw another fancy word out there. They'll forget the one I didn't say correctly. It's just, I'm ready. You know, it's, as you get to a certain point where it's just, you realize time is cyclical and it is like Groundhog Day and it just like repeats and repeats and repeats as much as you anticipate it being some kind of routine, it never is, but it's okay. So it is New Year's Eve weekend, no plans, the way we like it. Parker's always on call, so it's really hard to just plan for anything, but right now we are going to dinner. So I owe you guys a Sephora haul. I owe you guys some bread. What else do I owe you guys? I think that's it. If I forgot anything, I'll make sure to let you know. Hey you guys, it is eight o'clock. So we just got home from having dinner with the girls. That was nice. You guys, this scarf, I'm not a really big scarf person unless I'm super cold, but uh, I found it at Walmart and I don't, I can't like the material, it's like this really cool sweater material and I've been wearing it all day today and I'm like, Maybe I've just been wearing the wrong kind of scarves. But we just got home, dinner was delicious, and oh, do you wanna, okay, come here. Come on, say hi to your friends. It's the Sophia Renata Show. What's up, everybody? Wanna say hi to your friends? We match today. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh my, no, you You guys, I have to say, the silver lining, the glimmer in all of this. After her sister's passing, she went through these little shifts of like, wait a second, she's probably coming back, like looking around. And I think it just, she, she, she accepts what it is now. And even though you can tell like she misses her, she's just thriving. She's just a totally different dog totally different dog. I mean, to the point where she's pretty much a lap dog. And that's the biggest thing that I missed after the Topo and Wesley passed was they were my two lap dogs. They were my little boyfriends. They were with me on my lap or like right next to my thigh or my hip on the counter, you know. <laughs> I know you guys might think that's gross, but like the Topo would sit on the kitchen counter, I would put his little donut bed, and while I was cooking or whatever, he was just there, always with me. And she's always been more like a cat, super independent, like you're lucky I'm here. And now she's just always with me, always. You can hear the tick, 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 when I like disappear for a second. So that's been nice. Like she's really, she's really filled the gap and I feel, I don't know, it's definitely a, a happy surprise, something that I totally wasn't expecting. What I was expecting though, how many of you guys are, what's the word, like uh, self-care video game players? I hate to say gamer because to me a gamer is someone that has like a computer with a fancy keyboard and a super special chair. I like to play things like Animal Crossing. I just got the new Kirby game, Forgot Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And I noticed on Mateo's Switch that his case was like super dingy. And I was like, wait, maybe mine is too and I just haven't noticed because, I mean, it's clear, but it's like, not clear, it's yellow. I tried to soak it in vinegar, in the sun, in LED lights, well, with LED lights. I did baking soda and peroxide. I did peroxide and nothing. 
So I was like, you know, I'm ordering Mateo a new cover for his Switch. So I'm gonna get myself one too, which by the way, I keep my Switch in this very adult <laughs> Switch carrying case that has little slot for your games, a little mesh bag for cables and batteries or whatever. This is, oh, oh, it says I'm playing right now. I am not playing. I played last night, but I guess it turned on. There's my switch. It's just a switch light. So that's what my switch looks like. But when I was ordering my son, some, this is an official unboxing, bagging, unbagging. I found some cuteness to be had. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I know, right? And then, wait for it, second package. Sometimes I don't like that Amazon sends things like in multiple packages, but on days like today, I really enjoy it. <laughs> well, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, do you want to see my driver's license? I'm almost 40, I promise. <laughs> I'm like trying to be quiet because Parker's around here, but he's probably not surprised because he's been married to me for almost a decade. This is the new, it comes with like a, <laughs> it's like a little charm. So like you, you loop it on here and you can have a little dingle dangle charm, which my phone, has a little, do I have it here somewhere? No, maybe? Where's my phone? Sorry, excuse the interruption. So on my phone, I just have this case from <laughs> ASMR. I have this case from Amazon. And this pop socket, I actually did myself. I was bored with all the pop sockets that I had. So I printed a sticker that I designed on one of my little graphic apps, and then I covered it, in, covered it in resin. Do you remember I told you guys I was like playing with resin, practicing, so I always need excuses to cover things, <laughs> to cover things in resin. So this is not about my Switch, but this is how my brain works. There's, there's a lot of squirrels in here and they're not lined up and knowing what they need to do. But I do little like lanyard things for my phones. It's really easy and it's so relaxing. But what I've started to do is these little attachable charm clips so that if you don't want the dangle or like it's getting on your nerves or being annoying, you can remove it. So it reminded me of this. So it's just like a little, I don't know, like a little clip, it's like a lobster clip. And then it has, I'm doing a really great job at showing this to you guys right now has a little word on it and it has my little zodiac sign, a four leaf clover and a horseshoe. <laughs> Stacking the deck here, you guys. Stacking the deck with my luck. Anyway, so all of that to say, that's what this reminded me of, but I do not want a little dingle dangle dangly thing on my switch because I need to concentrate. So we're gonna do this together. So that's my switch. This is the case. This is what I'm imagining it looks like, which is magic. If I can put it on there without damage. Yeah, that's nice. There we go. It's hard enough. Like, you know, I'm not 11. I'm not gonna drop my switch. I just jinx myself. I drop everything. Does anyone else? There we go. So it's like soft, hard plastic. Like it's still, it's like you could still, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to show you guys the, the thickness of it or the firmness, but isn't that pretty? And then I have these little thumb grip covers, but the toes are coming off, probably because I play very assertively. So I thought I'm gonna take off these little thumb grips that are little paws, and I'm gonna put, hold on, here they are. Look at that. And this is like licensed Sanrio stuff. So it's not like when you're trying to look something on Amazon and you have to look up kawaii dog. 
because if you put Pachaco, nothing's gonna come out. No, like you put Pachaco and this one came out, popped up. And I was like, yeah, I don't wanna use the, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Pachaco overboard. I don't wanna use the bananas, but I definitely want to use these little misters. Look at that. Wasn't that so cute? What's so precious? Oh man. You guys. This kind of stuff. It's like, I don't know why it's so, they say that the things that you liked when you were like in your formative years as an adult are very like self care or healing. So when I walk into my studio and I see Sanrio stuff everywhere, I'm like, oh, that's what they mean. <laughs> Now I'm going to play my new Kirby game with little Pachaco buttons. Oh, that is so cute. I can't. Look at, you want to see it? You, no, no, she doesn't. Hold on. I'm getting dark again. I don't know why it's so dark. You know, the light hasn't been on this whole time, Parker. I'm like, why am I so dark? Oh, hold please. <laughs> Sorry guys, is that better? Although it doesn't help my skin tone, but it does help with the light. Hold on, let's do this again. So this is my slit. Look, it's gold too. Gold, you guys know how I feel about gold. And then look at your little pachacos. Oh, his little cheeks. Oh, they're nice. Oh, they're not, hold on. Oh, there we go. No, 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 I just ruined it. Sorry guys. There we go. Super close up. No, you gotta, you gotta focus. There we go. Gotta focus on these little dogs. Those buttes. But look at this. So I have this case. It has a handle and the little strap so that it like protects your screen. I never use it. But it has these little flaps for your games, but you can't see the games. You see? I got, okay, look, it doesn't matter that I am buying things like a nine-year-old little girl, I still got 40-year-old lady eyes. So I wanna be able to see what games are there. And I can't do that when they're in the elastic. So I was storing my games in the boys game store thing, which I'll link. If you guys are fans of like old school, like nostalgic Nintendo, it looks like a Game Boy. <laughs> it's super cute and it stores all of their chips. But you know what was happening is they would take my games and then leave them at their dad's house. And I was like, y'all, I wanna play Super Mario Wonder. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You had it. Where's the game? It was at dad's house. So now it looks like a compact, Yep, look at that. Wait, I wonder if this is licensed. I think it's licensed Pachaco stuff. I don't really care because look at that cuteness, right? And then when you open it, you see how it looks like a compact. <laughs> when you open it, you put your games in there. <laughs> I wasn't gonna put this in the vlog, but when I, uh, when we were at dinner, I got the notification that I got my deliveries and I was like, you know what? I think you guys would be very interested in seeing my Switch accessories, right? Maybe? Yeah, I know, right? I know, like just be honest. Oh, what game do I need? Is this a compact? Oh, this is probably a mirror. No, it's not. Boom, it's your Switch games, old lady. That, that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so now this is <laughs> now this is my this is my switch haul from Amazon. <laughs> Hold on, let me make it just I just I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm just gonna just give me a minute so that I could set up set it up. You know, like set it up properly. I'm setting this up. All right, I'm gonna put that in there, and then I'm gonna put this one in here. I'm gonna zip it. 
and then I'm gonna sip it. Oh, you know, just me just walking by with this cute clutch. Oh wait, is it a clutch? Or is it something else? Oh, I don't know. Do you wanna see? Sure, look at this. I'm gonna unzip it. Oh, what is this? Just, oh, well, let me show you. I'm glad you asked. It's a, um, it's a compact? Oh, maybe not. Or is it a Switch game holder? I wanted to say container. <laughs> My mind is like, okay, you like to play Switch, but you also like Pyrex. So I'm gonna say container. <laughs> and then, you wanna see the bottom layer? Okay, well, let me show you. Do this little Velcro strap. Yeah, it's to keep my screen nice and clean. Don't look at the fingerprints. It's to keep my screen nice and clean for my Switch that has Pachaco thumb grip caps and a gold heart on the back. Thank you for coming to my unboxing of my Switch accessories and I will link everything in the description box of this video, including my headband and my warm scarf because nobody likes cold achy bones. And that's it for tonight. <laughs> Randers stayed at the mall shopping with her sister, so she'll be home later. So Parker and I are like, woo, wow, we actually went out on a Friday night? What? But we are home by eight o'clock. So I wanted to spend some time with you and this is hopefully something that you found incredibly fascinating. You know what else I've found very fascinating recently? Is uh, puzzles and trivia. <laughs> so the boys are on winter break and I have picked up two new hobbies, FYI. Tell me you have ADHD without telling me you have ADHD. Oh, because you have a very long list of hobbies and you enjoy all of them, but you're not necessarily good at any of them. So during winter break, I busted out this book because I'm trying to do a little bit of an electronic detox. I'm doing really bad at it, by the way. Listen, we didn't have devices growing up. We played outside, but times have changed. And if you really try to do an electronics detox, you're punishing yourself. <laughs> So they play and they watch TV and stuff, but after dinner, we'll all sit down and I will crack this open and then I'll just pretend I'm doing it and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, who is the odd man out in Japan, Mexico, Jordan, Great Britain, and Monaco? Hmm. And we all sit around and then like everyone starts chiming in and everyone just comes together and we end up doing this together. But the only reason I bought this was because I find myself doing this a lot. Where did our, where, where did I leave my car keys? What did I say I had to add on the grocery list? Wait, where do we need to go today? <laughs> it's not crispy and shiny in here anymore. Like, I forget things. So this is supposed to help keep your brain young. I'm not sure it's working, but what I am sure is it's making a lot of quality time opportunity for the family. So that's nice. I also got that on Amazon, <laughs> but it's, it's really cool. It has like all of these categories on like ways that it like massages your brain and keeps it fresh. It's like different workouts for your brain for different parts of your brain. It even has, let me show you, pictures. If you like pictures, if you like word searches, it has those, but the best ones are the long-term memory executive functioning puzzles like these. I can also link my tabs if you want. <laughs> I think I miss you guys and I think it's very apparent in this portion of the vlog. So I have missed vlogging and uh, I look forward to hanging out with you again, probably later tonight. <laughs> Definitely tomorrow. I think that's it. I think that's it for tonight. How about we just say that's it for tonight so that I can go, you know, I can pick a game. I don't have to pull each one out to see which one it is. I can do Big Brain Academy. I could do Animal Crossing. I could do, oh, 
Super Mario Wonder is missing again. These kids. They're in Arkansas right now. I guarantee they took it. Hold please. I got to angry text my son. Or maybe it's in the other switch. I don't know. Maybe I should check first. But anyway, for tonight, that's it. Because I got to go rescue some more weedos or weemos on Kirby. But I'll see you in the morning. I love you. <laughs> okay. I said I was done for the night, but I'm not because I got up from the couch. I walked over to Parker, who's like being the responsible, age appropriate man watching age appropriate content on keyboards. And I was like, I'm gonna really need an irrational reaction when I show you this. We need to share this excitement. Pro tip, if you are married and you tell them exactly what you want them to do or how to react, they'll do it. <laughs> They're not mind readers. So when I was like, look at this. And he was like, oh my God. Oh, he's so cute. Look, he's holding your hand. I thought they were his cheeks, but he says they're his little paws. So when you like are playing and you put your, like your, you put your thumb on there, he's, he's holding your thumb with his little hands. But that's not why I jumped on here. Even though I said good night and see you tomorrow. Why I jumped on here, he's like, look, he's a gamer too. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? Look, he's a, he's a gamer. I was like, oh, he's wearing headphones. He's like, no, he's on his computer and he has a remote. Look at his little remote. <laughs> but, <laughs> that just goes to show that Pachaco could have been holding like a decapitated head of Hello Kitty and I would not have even noticed. I would have just been, oh, it's Pachaco and he's so cute. But he's gaming. Which makes perfect sense because you put your games in here. That's it. Okay, good night. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. So we fell off the face of the earth yesterday. I think for the first time in my entire life have experienced insomnia. Just once. Just once. Just once. From Friday night, I think I was... <laughs> I think it's because I was so excited about my Pachaco thumb grips. Yes, I'm still on that. <laughs> Parker went to sleep around 10 and at 11.30 I was like, oh, I'm so antsy and fidgety in bed. I'm just going to keep him up. So I sat at the couch, played my Switch, watched a couple movies, and around 3.30 I was like, I really need to get to bed even though I wasn't sleepy. Needless to say, yesterday my day was just not the best. So I was like, you know what? My pandas don't deserve to see me this way. The post-insomnia... Danny, what you guys do need to see, and we just spoke about this on Friday night, is Little Miss thriving. In case you didn't believe me, let there be no doubt in your minds of who runs the house now. Hold please. Yeah, I'm putting you on blast. I'm putting you on blast. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is this your chair? Is this your chi- what? 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 How did we- How did we set up this whole little station here? Obviously, I was here this morning. Let me show you what I was doing, besides the obvious. I just got the new uh, Alex Snodgrass. If you guys don't watch or follow the Define Dish on Instagram, she has really yummy recipes. I never follow her recipes to a T. I just use them as like a base layer inspiration. So I had to get her new book and then I just put some tabs on the stuff that I'm curious to try. It's more like inspiration. So if you guys love to cook, you know what I mean when, it, when I mean like inspiration for a cookbook. We don't get cookbooks to follow the recipe. It's more just, oh, okay, I didn't think about putting these dishes, like these ingredients together kind of thing. So I haven't tried it yet. I was just kind of going through it and thumbing up some recipes that I wanted to try, but I wanted to show you this. This is the queen of the castle now. <laughs> totally unbothered. We went to lunch and just got back and walked into this situation. All right, so here's the deal. A couple things. I have a mask in my hair right now, like a very deep, hydrating repair mask. Actually, I'll show it to you so that I don't forget because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna carry on with this vlog and then when I sit down to edit, I'm gonna be like, oh. So it's this one. If you ever put this in your hair, don't even use perfume that day or like smell good body lotion. Like save your, save your fancy products because it smells phenomenal. They should bottle that and sell it as a fragrance. 
So that's one of the things. That's one of the couple of things. The other thing is the sweater. If you guys saw it on my Walmart reels for winter accessories, it's like eight bucks right now. It's on clearance. I have every color and it's so cozy and so warm and it passed the washer and dryer test. I have really bad luck with the washer and dryer test when it comes to sweaters. So this one passed the washer and dryer test. It passes the sleeve length test if you have long arms. The other thing is it's Sunday. We have to obviously do my Sephora unboxing. You don't know the amount of self-control that it took for me not to open that box yesterday while I was sitting on the couch for 12 hours. It was so hard because there are two fragrances in there that I bought blind. Zero out of five stars, do not recommend buying perfume blind. Usually I do a good job, but I went out on a huge limb here. I got two perfumes. I'm dying to smell them, but I promised that we would do this haul together, this unboxing, so we're gonna do it. But because it's Sunday, Parker actually dropped me off after lunch and went to Home Depot to get some of those brown bags that you need for collecting like greenery, shrubs, leaves, and things like that. And I'm gonna do our Sunday routine. So the Sunday routine for us is ingredient prep. So I usually grocery shop Sundays or Mondays. We actually got it done on Friday this week and it involves like cutting and peeling all the fruits and veggies that we're gonna do for just to eat during the week, like the strawberries, but also the ingredients for dinner for the week. So like if there's chicken thighs, I clean them and I either soak them, marinate them or whatever I need to do with them. If there's chicken breasts, I trim all the fat, I slice them in half or butterfly them. If there's cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, whatever, I prep them as well, cut them and then just put them in containers or bags so that when the day comes where I need to use them, it's prepped and ready to go and that saves me so much time. Speaking of saving time, you guys know that for me, feeding my family, like cooking meals for them is more my love language to show people. So there's two kinds of love languages. It's the one that you feel loved and then the one that you show others. <laughs> I do think that cooking should be a love language all on its own. So for me, that's something that I do for my family and how to show them like, hey, you're important to me. Here's some pork tenderloin. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what I've actually been doing is using some of the items out of my wild grain box. So we need to get into it. I need to talk to you guys about wild grain. I showed you guys briefly uh, maybe a month or two ago, the first box that we tried, needless to say, it arrives at our house now. <laughs> okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I almost wanna say a month or two ago, I showed you guys my very first wild grain box. So, so excited that we were able to nab this partnership with them because it has made our life so much more, our carb life, so much more delicious. We are a huge, huge, huge carb lover, pasta lover, cookie lover, bread lover family, like lo lover, <laughs> lover family. And it's just made our life so much easier. You guys don't understand how frustrating it is for me having to go to the grocery store or, you know, get our groceries delivered with bread because bread, you don't know like, how fresh it actually is, how good it actually is, which pasta is gonna be in stock, like which baked goods. I don't know about you guys, but my family's super picky with the things that they love. They're very picky with everything, but they're very picky in particular with breads. So like, if I go to the store and get sliced bread and make a peanut butter sandwich for my kid, he's not gonna eat it. However, if I give him a slice of the wild grain sourdough and put some peanut butter on it or like some turkey and cheese, he'll eat it. He's like, oh, because it reminds me of like restaurant bread. I'm like, okay, so that's all it takes is it for you to feel fancy with your bread. So thank you, Wild Grain, for encouraging that habit for my kids. I'm like, look, whatever it takes, just eat your bread. <laughs> so if you guys haven't heard about Wild Grain, they are the very first bake from frozen subscription service that has sourdough breads, artisanal baked goods, fresh pastas, sourdough breads. Did I say that already? Okay, I have a soft spot for sour any bread. 
but specifically a sourdough bread. And the cool thing about the subscription is that it arrives frozen at your house. I'll show you guys how mine arrived. So this is the second time that I order and this is the second time that it arrives exactly in perfect condition with the dry ice, the ice packs at the bottom, everything is frozen. All I have to do is open it and then put it in my freezer and it's there and waiting for me. 25 minutes tops from frozen to ready to go trick your family and tell them that you uh, took three days from starter to make this sourdough loaf. <laughs> Or look, hey, I just baked these delicious cookies from scratch. Just kidding, they already know I can't bake. <laughs> That's another thing is, look, I can tear it up in my kitchen. I can make anything from like scratch to finished product, savory. But if you make me bake, I would rather give you my right arm. <laughs> I can't bake. Not only does it create a huge mess, I don't have the patience, I don't have the skill to bake anything. Wild grain makes me feel like I know what I'm doing when it comes to baking things. Besides the fact that everything is freaking delicious, phenomenal, and is on your table in less than 25 minutes from frozen, everything is meant to be done from frozen, which is a huge perk. There's no defrosting. Do you guys grow up with the generation of like, hey, don't forget to pull the chicken out of the freezer when you get home from school and then you would forget and then there would be no dinner and your mom would be really mad at you? There's no defrosting process. So if you have PTSD from that, it's not gonna happen here. <laughs> They also use only small businesses, bakers, uh, pasta makers from around the country to make our bread, our, I'm already a part of the Wild Green family, to make our, has my pantry door been open this whole time? You guys, just pretend, let's carry on. All right, so they use the slow fermentation process, which this is where I nerd out. If you guys are unfamiliar, I have a background in culinary arts and nutrition. So during the slow fermentation process, what happens is that it allows an easier to digest bread that's also lower in sugar and has all of the great nutrients and antioxidants that your body needs and thrives on. So a lot of times you hear like, oh, carbs are bad for you. No, they're not actually. They are food for your brain and we all need them. So if you can bring in that freshly made, better for your family vibe or taste from bread into your home without having to go to the restaurant like my bougie kids, <laughs> why wouldn't you try? Not to mention that if you take fresh pasta, so fresh frozen pasta, which is different from dried pasta that you get at the store. So pasta that you get at the store has been dried out. So you have to boil your water, put it in a pot, and it takes usually 10 to 12 minutes, right? With freshly frozen pasta, it's never been dried out. So it actually cooks faster than dried out pasta. I know, right? <laughs> so it's actually gonna taste different too. So you will notice your kids, or heck, even your husband, your spouse, or whatever, when you make fresh pasta in your meals. It's confusing because it's not dried first and then you cook it. No, this was frozen fresh, so it was never dried out. All right, and two super important facts. The first one is it's a build your own box system, so you're never gonna get bored with the bread that comes in there. You're in control about what you wanna include or how often you wanna receive it. It is so easy because you are constantly in control. So if you know your family's a fan of the chocolate chip cookies, throw those in your box every time. They also have limited edition or like seasonal breads that they do. So it's always cool to check back and see if there's something new and upcoming that you can try or add to your box. All right, and number two, which I absolutely love. You guys have heard me say numerous times before that I grew up standing in food bank lines and that is something that is not foreign to me. So Wild Grain has a very special place in my heart because every new member that signs up for Wild Grain is going to donate or rather allow Wild Grain to donate four meals to the Greater Boston Food Bank, which is awesome. Anyway, so I will leave all the information to Wild Grain in the description box below. For every new member, if you guys sign up, there'll be a link and a code in the description box below. If you use my link and the code Coffee Break, you will get $30 off your first box and free croissants and every single box there and after that you get. So the information will be listed down below. Coffee break, $30 off. 
your first box and free croissants in every box. All right, so how does this tie into my weekly prep? I told you guys, my kids not only are on winter break and they're hungry all the time, but they also are so specific when it comes to bread. So I've actually found myself working wild grain into my weekly prep. So what do I do? Besides the fact that I'm cool mom and I'll go and I'll pull some chocolate chip cookies at like a random time and like throw them in the oven and they're like watching TV or they're playing Super Mario Wonder and I'm like, here you go, some freshly baked cookies. Mind your business, you don't need to know how I made them. The thing that I've gotten into the habit of doing is just baking a sourdough loaf and just having it ready. So I'll bake it on Sundays. We may or may not eat half of it by dinner time but it'll be ready for the toaster or for a sandwich or for a snack now that the kids are home, now that we're making lunches for back to school or anytime someone's hungry. But see, the difference is, why is it that this bread is so amazing? Who cares as long as you're getting your kids to eat it? You know what I'm saying? So come with me to pull out some sourdough bread from my freezer, which fun fact, I got a new freezer as a Christmas present for my surrogate parents. And I have to say, you guys, it's sexy. See, look at this. This is a freezer right here. And we are gonna get our sourdough bread, which, look at this. Boom! I have my little wild grain shelf. Yes, I do. These are the cookies that I was telling you about. You don't actually have to bake all of them. You could just pull out a couple and do those. We got some croissants. Well, I've showed you guys already. We have some pasta down here. Yup. But let's get this out. So thank you, Wild Grain, for making my weekly food prep extra easy. You guys see how cool? And it has a really nice shape because it could be something that you serve as like crusty bread with pasta or with your soups. It could be something that you do, it's almost like a, like a ciabatta thickness. You could do like turkey sandwiches. I'm gonna get started with food prep. Parker just got here and he has to do a lot of leave raking. So I'm gonna be productive on the inside. He'll be productive on the outside. Anyway, we're gonna do food prep. But if you guys were on the fence with Wild Grain, Coffee Break gets you guys $30 off your first box. You guys will be donating four meals as well. And uh, you'll get croissants in your box forever. So anyway, I gotta... I gotta go do the adult stuff, okay? A moment of ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
you guys. It's bread confession time. Do you guys like the edges of the bread, like the ends, or not? Look at this part. <laughs> oh my god. A, don't call it sourdough if the inside doesn't have that like delicious chewiness to it and that tang. B, the crust is a must, that crunch. But these little ends, I swear my brother and I would embark on like full on cage fighting over, <laughs> over the ends. And when Parker and I got married, I always knew he loved bread. I just didn't know he was an ends guy because he would always give them to me. And then he finally confessed to me that he likes them too. He was just giving them to me like his pickles. He always gives me his pickles. But he likes his shoe. All right, you guys, so it's time for your homework. Let us know in the comments if you guys are uh, bread cap lovers. I mean like crusty bread, bake at home bread, whatever, like the ends. Do you cut the ends off? Do you fight for the ends? Like who are you? What team are you on? Personally, I'm team all the bread. <laughs> but I will wrestle a child down for the ends of a loaf. <laughs> Just saying. I'm gonna show you guys how I cut our crusty bread and how I store it so that it's ready to go when I need it in my mouth. You know what I mean? Okay, so just take any airtight container and pretend this is a fancy doily. We're gonna put that at the bottom of the container. And this is totally up to you. You, if you wanna do like, if you wanna do like ciabatta style sandwiches, I would say cut it this way in half and then thicker slices. Or if you want to do sliced bread, for example, for a peanut butter sandwich, a quick little lunch for your kids, or uh, French toast at the end of the week if you didn't get a chance to finish it, or toast it in the oven with some butter and just rub some fresh garlic on it for garlic toast. So it's probably the more universal way of cutting this loaf. Make sure you do have a serrated knife though. You need those little alligator teeth to get through. You hear that, you guys? Oh, that is so satisfying. This is one of those things that, even though I'm getting crumbs everywhere, it doesn't, it does not, it makes me so happy. It's like happy crumbs, happy crumbs. You know the only reason I'm cutting the bread right now? I'll tell you, it's because I'm gonna get another little end. <laughs> I'm gonna get another little end of bread. Yes, I am. Right there, there we go. Try not to push down. You're just holding it, but you're not pushing down. So the teeth of the knife is what does all the work. Just like that, there we go. Oh, look at this. Look at that beauty. Okay, so then we have our pre-sliced loaf if you have a big enough container to put it in like this it's great because it does not dry out it keeps its shape and all the moisture stays in the bread satisfying i know make sure to put it in your container take out all the air and there you go our food prep for the week is done this piece of bread in my mouth <laughs> we are done with the food prep for the week if you guys were on the fence, try wild grain. I can't even talk, I've been like bread heaven. The code Coffee Break will get you guys $30 off your first box. You will also get free croissants every time you order. And you will be donating four meals to the Greater Boston Food Bank. I mean, just the fact that you could be talking and eating like me, like this in this moment, I think you should check it out. All the information will be listed in the description box of this vlog. I'm gonna finish this bread and clean up my crumb explosion and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit so we can do our little Sephora unboxing. You guys, good morning, happy new year. I still have my sleeping voice. So I was startled awake this morning at like five. It was deep sleep, like I was in deep, deep sleep and Parker was like giving me a kiss and so I thought he was like crawling back into bed. He usually gets up because he snores really bad. 
So he goes and sleeps on the couch for a little bit and then he comes back. That's how he alleviates his guilt of you're not gonna get enough sleep. <laughs> So I thought he was coming back to bed, so I was like scooting over. And then I like went to hug him and he's in his work clothes. And I'm like, you have to go to work. And he's like, yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. So he left at like 5 a.m. to go to work. I accidentally fell back asleep. It's almost eight o'clock now. And I literally just woke up and my first thought was, oh my God, I have to say happy new year to my pandas. Even though you're gonna see this vlog a week late. And we also haven't done the, um, Sephora unboxing. So I thought, hey, just us girls, you know, because Parker's at work, we can do this uh, this haul. So a little backstory on the haul. You know, I do not like and appreciate that Sephora doesn't send me harassing emails like Ulta does. I love Ulta's harassing emails. Like, here's a coupon, here's 20%, you haven't gotten your birthday reward all the time. Or hey, if you use the app, this thing is 40% off. Like I just placed an order for Parker's Billy Jealousy hair pomade. I think they're discontinuing it because it's 40% off, but only on the app for some reason. So I ordered a bunch of that. But anyway, so Ulta doesn't, or Sephora doesn't send me harassing emails. And I had the birthday rouge thing or whatever. I don't think it was that good this year, but they were like, oh, you only have, I think it was like six days to use or claim your birthday reward. And when they were doing that, they had a 20% off fragrance. It gets me every time, you know, like. <laughs> okay, so I got this. This is the Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner. So it's a hydrator, detangler, and a heat protectant spray. I thought this might be similar to the Seven Seconds from Unite. And Unite, you know, you can only get online or at professional like salons. So with the Sol de Janeiro one, the reviews were actually really good. Spray on damp hair from mid length to ends before heat styling or air drying. So I thought if this is like the seven seconds where it's gonna make my hair smell good, it's gonna detangle it, I can put it in to leave my hair curly. I'm gonna love that. So I got that. I also got this, my friend Gina told me about it. She was like, hey, have you seen the new Sol de Janeiro scent? And I was like, no, I haven't. So this is the Del Del Delish, Del it's probably the Delicia. Delicia Drench Body Butter Chedosa 59 Fragrance. It's for dry skin, like specifically for dry skin. So I think it's like one that has like ceramides and stuff in it. I'm like, well, it is winter and I am related to a crocodile. I'm not sure about the scent though. I don't know. People were saying it reminds me of the one that smells like smoke and cherries, which I like. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that smells nice. And it does look, you can tell, this is definitely a whipped body cream. This is not like their other products that have like sort of a gel lotion consistency. This is definitely a cream. But let's get this scent. It smells like vanilla cupcake. I said it. It smells like vanilla cupcake maybe with a really far away hint of cherry. You know, like if cherry was a LaCroix and like like a cherry LaCroix and a vanilla cupcake had a baby, like that. Very, very far away cherry scent, vanilla cupcake, but it's not overpowering. Like most Sol de Janeiro products, it's like boom, fragrance in your face for hours. No, it is very, very light and delicate and it feels really nice. I don't know. <laughs> I'm showing you. I got this on recommendation of Sharon. If you guys don't follow Sharon Pack, she is one of the founders of, insert name here, the hair. I still can't, like I'm looking at myself and I'm like, is this how I wanna represent the new year? <laughs> is this how I wanna be on the internet on the first day of the year? Yes, it is. This is who I am. You know, this is exactly who I am and who I love. It's taken me a while but this is it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say nice to meet her because you've seen her. 
This is who I am. She was saying that this is the perfect bunny nose. I guess there's a trend, like a makeup trend right now that is that is like the lip color that looks like a bunny's nose or bunny's toes or a bunny something. And she was saying that this is the perfect shade for that makeup trend. She does a really good job at sharing current trends or hairstyles. Asian makeup trends, which are really, really pretty. Does that look like a bunny's nose? I don't know. My lips already are super tinted, but that, that feels nice, but it tastes like old lipstick. Yeah. You know those old, like if you have an old lipstick or like a cheap lipstick, that plasticky smell, that's what it smells like. But these are, I think this brand's called Say. It's one of the like vegan, cruelty-free, more natural brands at Sephora. It looks really pretty and it feels really nice. This would be a really great always in your purse lip product, especially if you don't like chapstick. This gives me a very step up from chapstick, like one step up from chapstick to have in your purse. It's very, very comfortable. All right, this was my birthday reward. The Travel Size brow, brow Lamination Gel and Major Glow Lip Shine from Patrick Ta. I don't have any Patrick Ta products. Apparently they're really great, great reviews. This was my birthday reward. I don't know, I didn't have like that many amazing options. Oh, did you just jump? You don't have to jump. Good morning. Good morning, come here. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Say good morning and happy new year. Oh, do you like it? Do they look like bunny's, bunny's, bunny's lips? Bunny's no, nose? Something bunny. No? Do you wanna go potty? You wanna go potty? Yeah, you can go potty. <laughs> All right, so this, I wanna say he's a celebrity makeup artist. I could be totally wrong and just making that up. But look at this. Look at this gloss. I know, I, the camera doesn't even do it justice. It's like glitter, but holographic, but amazing at the same time. Like 8 a.m., Parker's gonna come home after like a really stressful call that he got called out to, and I'm gonna be like, what up? Look at my lips. Oh man. I really wanted to hate this brand, you know? Like, I really, Oh God, that's amazing. How does he do that? What? Okay, so I'm gonna go as close as I can with my camera without getting blurry. So you guys can see that. And you just assume the minute that hits your lips, what's gonna happen, you're gonna see the chunk. I apologize for what I'm about to do. I haven't shaved my mustache. Look at that. There's no glitter. There's no glitter chunk. Your lips just look. Do you see? Oh. Wow. Okay, I take it all back. I take everything back for my birthday reward. I don't even want to use the brow laminator. I'm just like, oh, wow. That's gonna be in my favorites for sure. Okay, I got a sample of this. I already love this fragrance. This is my favorite Floral Street fragrance. The Wonderland Peony smells incredible. So it was a sample. I was like, yes, I do want it. Anytime I get offered a fragrance that I already own in travel size, I always say yes because it's great for a purse spray, it's great for travel, it's great for in your car or whatever, like those times where you're not gonna carry a full size perfume. Okay, this is where I am very disgusting. I'm gonna need you guys to just be supportive. This is one of my very first brand deals was a sponsored video with clean fragrance. And I've always, for 10 years told every single brand that I work with, can I try stuff before promising or signing a contract? 99% of the time they say yes, or they say, oh, we send it to you already anyway, just let us know your thoughts. We'd love to know your feedback, no matter what, whether you work with us or not, we wanna know your feedback. So anyway, I fell in love with Clean Skin. This is the number one fragrance 
that gets me stopped more than any other fragrance. Missing person gets me stopped all the time now. I have my little purse spray size here. Missing person gets me stopped. Like, what are you wearing? But to, to, the, to the capacity that I could be like on a flight, like in the airport, like on a flight, and someone will pull me over and say, what are you wearing? And it's so hilarious because every time I say clean skin, and they go, and I'm like, no, 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 I always have to do like a, because I want to say it's clean skin, literally, it's what it's called, the brain is clean, the scent is skin, and then they give me this look like either, oh, they're disappointed because I'm not going to share, I'm such a gatekeeper, or like, you're such a <laughs> But I ran out and I just never repurchased it. They also have a clean reserve line with the same scents, but they smell different, FYI. Just letting you guys know, if you guys are looking for a clean fragrance, <laughs> Not the brand, like literally clean. A, let me show you, where is it on the box? It says, here we go. Clean formula, vegan, eco-conscious, recyclable, and on like the PETA list. So that's how I discovered this brand. I was like, back like 10 years ago, clean perfume was super hard to find. Like a clean, like conscious brand for fragrance was super hard to find. But this perfume to me is not only nostalgic, but it smells incredible, it smells amazing. It literally transports me to 10 years ago with my cubes in the background, the nail polish, traveling a ton for work, the necklaces, you remember my big chunky necklace? Scents or fragrance will always be a really favorite beauty product of mine because of the power that they hold, how they can just capture a moment and transport you back to the future, to the past, to a memory, to just a feeling. And this to me is so, so profound. Even though it was 10 years ago, it's it feels like yesterday. Okay, but this is where my questionable decisions come through. And I made two purchases blind. Two fragrance purchases blind. I got another Floral Street and I got another Fleur. Now, here was my mentality. I was like, the fragrances have great reviews. They describe the scents that I like. They're two brands that I'm already a huge fan of. The catch is there are other Fleur fragrances that I've tested in store that I don't like at all, even remotely, but I love Missing Person. The Floral Street Vanilla had amazing reviews and I did not like it at all, even a little bit but I do love the Wonderland Peony. It's one of my absolute favorite scents. In fact, it's my boy's favorite scent for me to wear. Anytime I put it on, they will make a comment without me asking or anything. So I'm hoping that the Floral Street Sweet Almond Blossom smells incredible. This is a fruity, floral, gourmand fragrance for the enchanting, ethereal, sensuous, and hypnotic. Are we doing it? New year, new year, let's start this off strong. All of their packaging is like 100% recyclable. It's awesome, there's no plastic on it. All right, are we ready? These are their bottles. They have like a clear, it's clear in the front, the image is on the back. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, uh... Okay, let's see. Let me get another scent over here. I put it on my clothes intentionally in case if it doesn't smell very good. You know, I can just take off my pajamas and put on regular clothes for the day. Oh, that smells amazing. Good choice, Danny. Good choice. You know what it smells like? It smells like CK1. Not like CK1, but do you know how CK1 smells? It's a unisex fragrance. It can smell like cologne, but it can also smell like perfume. Oh, I might actually put this on Parker. It is a very, I don't want to say confusing, that sounds negative, but you're like, is that a cologne or is that a perfume? It smells really pretty, okay? It's not, it's not going back. I'm not returning it. I love it. I'm throwing away the packaging officially. We're keeping it. It's living with me. Love it. Oh, that smells lovely. Okay, this one is supposed to smell like the sunscreen scent that I love. 
that most people don't. I love when I look at reviews and they're like, it smells like cheap sunscreen. I'm like, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> Has my name on it. Yes, I wanna try it. All right, so this is Solar Power by Fleur. I already love the missing person. I already love missing person. So let me put some on my sleeve and then I'll put some on paper. Oh, whoa, 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 I need that back. Get back in there. Oh, okay. I'm getting a lot of alcohol. Hold on. It doesn't smell very strong. Oh, it smells exactly like I wanted it to. Do you guys remember the Urban Decay Rollerball? The uh, or, uh, Urban Decay Naked on the Run. On the run or on the go? The rollerball from Urban Decay that got discontinued, like everything that I love in this world. Okay, that little gold rollerball that I stocked up on. That is my signature. This is gonna sound ridiculous, but hey, I embrace transparency around here. So after I got divorced, I had a, you know, you can do everything you want. You can have the bed sheets you want on your bed. You can have the scent pods or candles that you want in your house. You pick the own for, your own furniture. Whatever you want is all up to you. So I wanted to wear perfume to bed. So I got into the habit of having a bedtime perfume and that roller ball was my bedtime perfume, but then they discontinued it. So Parker got to experience that and he likes it. I think I still have maybe one in my overstock cabinet. This smells just like it. Oh, thank God. You know, I thought I was going to go on this like angry rant on New Year's Day saying, hey, this is exactly why per like perfume subscription services exist. Because I can tell you that from buying fragrances blind. Hold, please. I have to prove a point here. I have bought fragrances blind a few times now. And I'll tell you what happens. They end up in this bag because I'm too embarrassed to return them or I try really hard to use them and I just can't. So I put them in here and then eventually I get the courage to ask a friend, hey, do you wanna take some of my perfume home that I didn't like, but you might like it? Yeah, I just, oh God, what does that smell like? Holy crap, why would I do that to myself? Here's another one. I can't remember why this one's in here. Let's see. Okay, so this one was just Vanilla 28. This is by Victor and Rolf. I don't remember which one. And this is Vanilla Coco. I got smart and I bought the little one. And apparently I didn't like it. It smells good on the cardboard, but I don't put things in here unless I really mean it. Usually I try, and I try on my skin, I try on clothes, I try after I shower, because you know your pH changes and everything. It wouldn't be in here unless it smells funky trunks on me. So anyway, I do not recommend buying fragrance online. <laughs> But if you have been doing what I do for a while, you learn like which reviews to check out, how to uh, find groupings of fragrances that sound like you might like it. There's ways of going to a perfume you already buy and love, for example, Missing Person, and then searching, if I like this, what else would I like? Or people that like this fragrance also like these. So there's a way to almost make it safe to buy sight unsmelled <laughs> fragrance but it is extremely risky and that just goes to show like those perfumes are brand new just goes to show that it's not oh that smells nice i'm definitely putting this on parker and these are all clean like these are all clean fragrances which is actually pretty cool and exciting we have a crow that lives in our chimney and he is incredibly loud but also super cute like we tap on the inside of the chimney and he like taps back. Crows are really smart, you guys. I don't know, like in movies, they're like villainized, like, oh my God, they're the worst, they're scary, but I love our crows in our neighborhood, but sometimes they are very loud. <laughs> so anyway, the scents are, um, the heart is neroli orange flower, the base is driftwood, solar musk, and sea salt. It smells, it smells just like that. This is a great, very clean smelling beachy fragrance. I think I have a nighttime fragrance again. 
just saying. Anyway, this just goes to show why those fragrance subscriptions are super popular because not everyone is as audacious and blind and ridiculous as I am. Right now we got two out of two. I won't count this one because this one's already a favorite of mine. I got persuaded by the 20%, okay? I got persuaded by that and holy <laughs> this is so pretty, you guys. Why don't you tell me about this? This is like the perfect gloss topper for every single lip that you ever do. This here is one of my favorite lip glosses ever of all time. It's from NYX, but it was limited edition and you do see the glitter chunks on it and it does have pigment to it. So it's not the perfect universal topper like this one is. Wow, I'm so excited. This was such a great haul. All right, I'll link everything for you guys. Don't forget that if you guys want to try out Wild Grain, donate four meals with your membership, get free croissants in your box, customize your own box, there will be a link in the description box below where you can get $30 off your very first box using the code Coffee Break. <sighs> you guys, uh, I had put my camera away last night to uh, just relax, go to bed, not bring in the new year because we were asleep by like 10 o'clock, but I look over on the couch and Parker is having four slices of my toast or my bread that I had prepped for the week. And he's like, this is so good. This is so good. I'm gonna need you to not put it on the counter. He thinks that if I put food on the counter, it makes him eat it. Whereas if I put the food away, he won't see it so he doesn't eat it. And I'm like, can't you just not eat it? And he's like, no. I'm like, so if it's on the counter, you can't help yourself and you eat it. If it's not on the counter, you don't eat it. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, what does that say about your self-control? And he's like, well, I know where you're going with this. I'm having like a toxic wife moment. He's like, I know where you're going with this. I'm like, well, if you can't control yourself over bread, honey. And he's like, no, it's different. You know how I feel about food. <laughs> Anyway, so all the information to Wild Grain will be listed in the description box below, as well as anything that we did went, like my Pachaco thumb grips. I know I keep talking about it, I just can't help myself. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, I will make sure to list and link. Oh, that's nice. I love it. All right, I'm gonna make sure to list and link everything in the description box below, you guys. We spoke about it last vlog, and I will remind you here, you do not have to Hold your happiness as leverage for your goals. It is nice to have resolutions. It is nice to have goals. It is nice to go into the new year with a plan. But you know what's also nice is just being grateful, just existing, just being happy, just taking it one day at a time. We are exactly where we're supposed to be. We're doing what we're supposed to be. We're in the place we're meant to be. And some things just take time and that's okay. And if you want this to be your year for time, and if you want this to be your year for patience, to think things through and to plan things out, that's okay. But what I do want you guys to take into this new year is before you tell yourself all the things you did bad last year, thank yourself or last year. And then you can swarm yourself with goals and new plans and resolutions for the year. But before you go into the new year telling yourself, oh, all of the things you dropped the ball on, make sure you take some time to thank yourself and to be grateful for your body and your health. And thanks to you, you are where you are. And that's a good thing because you're here. So whatever your plans are for the new year, you have a friend in this corner that supports you, that encourages you, that is super excited for you. And I'm not making any resolutions this year. This year, I'm just going to embrace the present and be present and be thankful and feel blessed and remind myself of how lucky and how blessed we are and just be present. I think that's my goal is to be present in the moment and embrace what life is gives me and the cards that I'm dealt without having to look for the shimmer in things. You know what I mean? Anyway, happy new year, you guys, and I will see you guys next week. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something. Please give me two thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.